So today, Jing and I are going to pour a footer all by ourselves. So please click like and subscribe to help us out on this project. So why are we doing this? The building itself back here has to have a little airlock vestibule. So we build this bump out entrance and that's going to need its own foundation. So we dig down to frost depth with a little mini excavator. And at the bottom of the hole, we have to pour a footer to start. And it's going to be two feet wide, one foot deep. And it's going to have rebar courses sticking up to attach a stem wall later and two courses of rebar going parallel. So we start with getting a ton of rebar, getting it out of the trailer, and then we just had at it. It's a little muddy. We got a pack team, just two of us. I it is stuck. <laughs> so most of the effort was spent pounding in the vertical rebar to build the stem wall later. And it seems as though I am the one who is ending up in the mud most of the time, but we got it done. Then the next job was to attach the horizontal courses of rebar. At that point, it was time to call in the concrete. Now, this was actually pretty easy because there's no forming involved, it's just a hole. So we had the concrete cut go back and forth to keep it as level as possible, pouring all the concrete in the hole. It ended up being way more than we need. So we got it smoothed out after the pour as best we could with our very oh-so-professional concrete tools. Um, and we were actually pretty pleased with the results. Here we have our foundation for our front entrance. And here we have Jing looking good in her fancy hat, <laughs> makeup, and clothes on for doing concrete. Always important. Oh yeah. You wanna draw some dicks in it? Uh, okay. <laughs> Nobody's gonna be able to see it. 200 years later. Just make them wonder. Huh, what's that? Huh, I guess they used to do that too. And that, my friends, is how we poured our foundation. 